Vladimir Putin signed decree to increase size of Russian armed force. Vladimir Putin has signed a decree to increase the size of Russia's armed force from 1.9 million to 2.04 million. As the war in Ukraine entered its seventh month with no sign of abating, the Russian president's decree appeared to point to the country's aim to replenish its military, which has suffered heavy loss in Ukraine and failed to achieve its objective to capture the capital Kiev. The order, which will come into effect on January 1st, includes a 137,000 rises in the number of combat personnel to 1.15 million. It marks a noticeable increase in army personnel since the last time Russia expanded the size of its military in 2017, when it added 13,698 military personnel and 5,358 non-combatants. The Russian does not publicly disclose how many casualties it has suffered in Ukraine, but in May, the UK Ministry of Defense said Moscow has lost as much as a third of its ground combat strength since the start of the war. The CIA director William Burns last month said an estimated 15,000 Russian servicemen had died in Ukraine, and maybe three times that wound. Moscow, which has so far opted against declaring a general mobilization, has recently intensified its effort to recruit new soldiers, through what some experts have referred to as convert mobilization. Regions across Russia have started to form volunteer battalions, offering lucrative short-term contracts to men aged between 18 and 60. Western intelligence has also said private military companies, including the Wagner Group, are being used to reinforce Russia's frontline forces as the Kremlin faces troop shortages. Thursday's decree did not specify how the increase in headcount was to be conducted, but ordered the government to assign the appropriate budget to the military. Pavel Luzin, a Russian military expert, said. Moscow would struggle to increase the number of soldiers, saying this decree is contrary to the objective reality on the ground. Putin's order comes after a senior Russian diplomat this week told the Financial Times that Moscow sees no responsibility for a diplomatic solution to end the war in Ukraine and expects a long conflict. Ukraine has similarly ruled out peace talk with President Vladimir Zelensky, vowing to capture lost territory in the country's east and south. A Russian court on Thursday placed Yevgeny Horsman, an opposition politician who has been outspoken critics of the invasion of Ukraine, under house arrest while he is investigating on charge of discrediting the Russian army. Roisman, the former mayor of Ekaterinburg, was detained on Wednesday. He is to be restricted from leaving his home, attending public events, or using the internet, and can only communicate with close family members, his lawyer, and investigators. The court stopped short of jailing him, possibly because of concern that his detention could lead to public protests in Ekaterinburg, Russia's fourth largest city. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.